Welcome to mechanical tutorial. I am going to teach you different techniques in SOLIDWORKS for mechanical engineers. I am going to train you different modules like surface modeling, sheet metal and enclosure design, product design, plastic components design, reverse engineering and many more tips and tricks in SOLIDWORKS. Hi, today I am going to explain about adding a component or part into an assembly see I'm going to show you how to add sub assembly and uh, different components into the assembly file so let's start now see here we have a command insert component so this is the icon and uh, we have a menu option see we have to go to insert component and existing component so we can select the any component so uh, best practice is insert component and go to the folder here we can select any component for example, I am going to take this component. So we can simply place in the graphical window. See here. So when we place it, we can see here F. That means fixed. So we can that that means it doesn't move. So we can keep it in float, and we can move anywhere. Now we can go for any mate, mate conditions. So these are the uh, mate conditions like coincident, parallel, perpendicular, tangent. So these options I am going to teach in upcoming video. So for time being I am going to show you how to mate with origins. So I am going to select these two origins and select mate. So this is how we can insert a component in the assembly file and place it at the origin. So similarly we can use same option for inserting the sub assembly. See this is the sub assembly so we can insert here. See here. So in main assembly we can insert individual components as well as sub assemblies and here we have a filters like quick filter so if you want to insert only co components so you can select the component and we can select any part and place it here see similarly if I filter assemblies so you can to see two sub assemblies so I am going to take this as sub assembly similarly we can use configuration also so I am going to explain in uh, end of the video see here this is the sub assembly so I am going to explain different methods Earlier I have shown you how to insert assembly, sub assembly file as well as component. So here sometimes we can use multiple files at a time. So I am going to select all the files. Say so this is the sub assembly file and assembly 2. These are the, these are the two sub assemblies and rest of the files are individual components. So I am going to add these components into the open document. See here. So all these components are added. Now we can select whichever the component or assembly we are going to insert into the assembly. So I am going to select assembly 1 bolt.
and this node so these three I'm going to add see here if I click uh, single click on the graphical window so I'm going to place individual component see here this is the sub assembly 2 and this is the bolt and that so I'm going to add individually suppose I want to add all the component at once so other method is simply click the components you needed so I am going to add these four components into the open document and simply double click on this graphical window so it is going to add all the component at once see here these components are added all four this sub assembly and this component and bolt and nut so we have to double click for this option to insert all the component at once so this is one more method so other method is to instead of using insert component method we can keep blank assembly file or main assembly file left side and the other side we can keep any sub assembly file and we can simply drag and drop into the assembly simply we can drag and drop as a sub assembly or as a individual component so to keep this window side by side we have to go to this option windows tile vertically so we have to open these two files and we have to select this option to place these two windows side by side and we can simply drag and drop from the one one sub assembly file to main assembly file so this is one more method see one more method is we can open the blank assembly file and uh, right side we can see this is the windows explorer see here so we can open this folder and we can simply select this uh, sub assembly file and drop into this main assembly file see here so if you want to place the component so we can place this component see here so this is one more method by using the windows explorer so sometimes we have instances like configuration suppose i am selecting this bolt so here we can see the configurations option so we can select whichever we want suppose 50 mm i am going to select see here we can place it here so i am going to insert the same component with other conf configuration see default configuration so you can see the difference the height of this component see here so two different configurations similarly we can simply select this component and when we select here we can have the option configuration default or 50 mm so whichever the name is given so we can select this configuration from here also suppose you have placed this component and you want to choose other configure other uh, configuration simply right click go to properties and we can select this default so it's going to change the size so this is one method for inserting the component into the assembly file with configuration so same method we can use it for sub assembly files 
so here i have a sub assembly i want to add bolts and nuts so best practice is simply select one of the bolt and place it here and uh, give the mating conditions so instead of uh, selecting insert component and uh, selecting this bolt simply what we can do is select this bolt and select control button from the see here select this control button and select this component and simply drag it here see we have a one more component so this is like an instance of an assembly so we can simply select the mating conditions and we can assemble this So I'm going to explain one more method. Instead of using control and drag option, we can have simple option. So I'm going to show you. So before that, I'm going to assemble this hexagonal nut. See here. So I want to. place same nut at this location so one method is go to insert component and select this hexagonal nut and place it in the assembly and give the mating conditions other method is as i told you earlier select this component and simply drag and drop and give the mating condition so one more simple option is that simply select this nut so you have selected this nut from this and right click and uh, here we have an option copy with mates see here the nut has been selected here we have to go to next so it is asking for concentric so i can select the cylindrical face and coincidence see so it is highlighting the similar face the in purple color so select this face here so say okay so if you want to continue few more instances so we can select other locations or else simply say okay or cancel it it's not right. see here so one is with uh, selecting the component and uh, control button and dragging and uh, giving the mating condition or simply click on the component see here here also we can see the copy with mates and use this options so these are the methods for adding part or component to an assembly file thanks for watching